So um, today I will actually be talking about um, the Ubiquiti Hair Cube. Uh, I recently laid my hand on this device, so uh, I feel like uh, I should discuss it and share my view of it. So this is the ISP uh, Hair Cube. There are two versions anyway. One is just ordinary Hair Cube and uh, the other one is ISP. But this one I'm actually holding is ISP. So I have it installed on my network here, as you can see. So I was actually using my Quotic router before, which was giving me an issue. So as you can see, this one is goes through my switch and uh, I've configured my public IP on, on that particular interface. So it goes straight into my, uh, my switch. So that they uh, can actually supply um, internet to the office. Okay, so um, here, what I want us to actually discuss is about the type of air cube that we have. Air cube ISP. This one has provision for 2.4 gigahertz and 5.5 uh, uh, gigahertz frequency which allow you to be able to uh, configure your internet for 2.4 and use the 2 and 5 gigahertz radio and uh, use the 5 gigahertz uh, wireless provision for your uh, intranet. Sorry, I'm, I'm confusing that though. So with that, you're able to have your public IP for your web and the 5 gigahertz for your LAN. So the, the, the difference is not that much. So, is uh, there are other factors also you you might actually see in in um uh between the ordinary hair cube router and the ISP router. The difference is that um you you um the ISP comes with a power adapter. Why the other one does not have a power adapter? You have to get your own power adapter, 24 volts, to power it. That's one. Number two is that um, you have to ensure that um, you um, upgrade the ISP router before you, if you want to use it, you want to log into it from your laptop. Because from my experience, Without upgrading it, I, I, I struggle to log in. I was trying to use my phone, but I couldn't configure it conveniently. On the how to check online, I will to say that if I don't upgrade, I might not have a very seamless experience, which I was able to upgrade and I I, I was able to log in successfully on my laptop and do the um, upgrade. So another difference between the other, the ordinary, Hey, Cube and IS, ISP is that um, the ordinary support only 100 meg, the speed is 100, while the ISP supports 1 gig speed on the LAN, on the interface of the LAN. So, and those are your default things. So, the, the first is the speed, 100 to 1 gig. Uh, the ISP supports 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz wireless card. You and uh, it comes with power. Why the other goes? The other goes not. The others does not actually have a power inside it. So I think that's just all that it makes the difference. So let me actually log in and see how we can uh, configure this router. So uh, the first thing you need to do is just to actually uh, check, ensure that on your laptop you 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 set your laptop to uh, on the same network with the router because the default login is a uh, 191.61.1. So if you can put your laptop on 1.5 slash 24, you should be able to ping yourself on your LAN and automatically you should be able to log in onto your router. So if you can actually log in to to the router using uh 192.168 and the username is admin. If you actually go back, to the, the password, the default password on the router is at the back, uh, at the bottom of the router. So when you pick up the router, you look at the bottom, you see 
the 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 password at just as you are seeing on your screen the bar the password will be there just input the password there and uh, you'll be able to um log in so when you log in you have the right to change the password to whatever you want to change it to okay i won't say that you we we since um we are able to log in if you can log in now so normally i, I like to use russia because it actually give me some um nice frequency if i'm working on five gigahertz uh radio frequency which is most especially bp radios so here uh well you can actually select any country that suits you it does not affect the performance it will work very well for you so we are in so the next thing we are actually going to do again is that we will need to configure each uh, area step by step this is the dashboard interface as you can see it's, it actually talks about every area of uh, the, the 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 device every section that you need to know the ip address that we configure the login the, the the one ip address and all that you need to know at a glance so if you go to the wireless aspect of the, the device here you can actually configure whatever anything you want to configure your ssid the password you want to use when you want to move away from the default password uh the you configure your your lan ip address that you believe you want your lan to run on and uh, you also configure your public ip address which you might have gotten from an isp me i actually work as an isp i work as a network engineer for an isp so this I usually do for my customers. So when you have your IP, you configure for your customers. You should be able to um, um, let them know uh, how they want to define their land so that when they seize it, they actually um, have um, the you configure your land. This it is not a through um uh public ip address i'm just using this ip to actually um let you see how to configure your ip on the router when you put your primary dns and your secondary dns here too so you can save your changes but before that okay we can actually if you are what you are configuring is vlan enable you can configure your vlan and uh, here um, if you have anything that relates to this section too you can actually do that as well you want to um, put forward a particular interface here you can actually add any interface on this platform and log and forward that particular interface from the router so it has four ports and uh, you can actually for so you can put forwarding and um, traffic move to that particular interface and um, um, you can from there um, if you want to tag it with, with a vlan id you can do all of that too etc etc thank you You can change the name of the device from the default name to whatever you want to change it to okay and when you are done you can save it so this area is oh, at night the router has some sort of a light that illuminates at night even when it's, maybe it's by your bed you can just put it by your bed and ask the light to start up at this particular time and it's on that was why i have the schedule there and every other thing here you you can just you know configure is based on your requirements
that's what I want to discuss with us today. Thank you.